What's up everyone, it's Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com, live from the Samsung Galaxy Tab Premier event here in New York City, where Samsung just announced two new tablets onto their new Samsung Galaxy Tab S line. The 8.4, which is this one we're taking a look at, and also the 10.5. These are basically the two new flagships for Samsung's Galaxy Tab line, and there's tons of new features on this guy, and the main one is it's a Super AMOLED panel. It's 8.4 inches, resolution is 2560 by 1600, and it's Super AMOLED, which means the contrast of this guy is going to be quite stunning. Very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S5, the Note 3, all the Super AMOLED panels on all the Samsung mobile devices finally coming on to the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Build quality wise, we changed to the same material we used on the Samsung Galaxy S5, so it still has this weird dimpled back. It feels definitely more premium than all the other Samsung Galaxy Tab models that use, even the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro and the Note Pro announced at CES. But you're probably wondering what these two little buttons are. There actually aren't buttons, they're magnets, and they attach to the accessories found are available for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4 and also the 10.5. Hardware wise, we're going to find an octa core configuration, a 1.9 gigahertz quad core processor hooked up to a second 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor and three gigabytes of RAM. Now, software wise, it's going to be running Android 4.4.2. KitKat, it's going to be the latest version of Android so far. Obviously, Google I.O. is going to be next week, so we're going to probably have a new version of Android after this guy. Other features taken from the Samsung Galaxy S5 include the fingerprint scanner on the home button, basically the same format as the Samsung Galaxy S5, where you have to swipe your finger to unlock the device. Camera-wise, we're going to have an 8 megapixel camera on the back with a flash and a 2.1 megapixel camera on the front. Pretty standard stuff. So the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4 is going to be available sometime in July as a Wi-Fi only model. It will also be available for LTE editions later this year. Obviously, we haven't announced any carrier versions yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be available for AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile. So make sure to stay tuned to PhoneDog.com for more content from the Samsung Galaxy Tab premiere events here at New York City. My name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com. You can follow me on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Marco and leave me a comment below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.